This is Ray Grossworth. I want to take a moment to thank all of you who have expressed condolences over the death of my father, Sidney Grossworth. While I am certainly sad over my father's passing, I am also thankful that he had 92 years of a wonderful life. I was especially humbled over the past week to learn that even those with whom I have had some disagreements on church matters have nevertheless expressed condolences on their respective websites. I especially want to thank Cleansing Fire, a group of traditional Catholics, for their very warm and heartfelt message that they posted on their website in commemoration of, of my father's death. As I reflected the past few days on my father's funeral, I want to express a very special thank you to Rabbi Sandra Katz. As you know by now, I come from a mixed religious background with Judaism on my father's side, Catholicism on my mother's side. Rabbi Katz led a very wonderful funeral and in the context of her remarks, she recited a poem that I would like to share with you now. It is by Roland B. Gittleson. In the rising of the sun and in its going down, we remember them. In the blowing of the wind and in the chill of winter, we remember them. In the opening of buds and in the rebirth of spring, we remember them. In the blueness of sky, and in the warmth of summer, we remember them. In the rustling of leaves, and in the beauty of autumn, we remember them. In the beginning of the year, and when it ends, we remember them. When we are weary and in need of strength, we remember them. When we are lost and sick at heart, we remember them. When we have joys we yearn to share, we remember them. So long as we live, they too shall live, for they are now a part of us as we remember them. During this holiday season, we do indeed remember them namely all the loved ones who have gone before us. As a fitting tribute to my father, I now invite you to sit in silence for a few moments as we look at a few photos. <laughs> 